welcome to my video. I am super excited to have my niece here. Her name is Danielle. We are gonna do the controversial parenting tag and I thought it would be awesome to have a different point of view so that we could um, maybe argue a little bit. Do you think we're gonna argue? No. <laughs> no. She's younger than me and she knows. No arguing with me. Okay, so we are just gonna jump right into the video and get started. So basically, I'm just gonna tell you the topic and you're gonna say you agree with it or you don't agree with it and you're going to elaborate if you want to. All right, so first, I'm gonna go first just to kind of show her how to do it because she's not used to making videos. So first um, is crying it out. Yes, I totally believe in crying it out. I didn't do it with the first kids. I never got any sleep. I did it with the girls. I did it when they were four months old because I was super worried about SIDS and even then it was really hard to do and I was worried about SIDS but um, I was more worried about us surviving because anybody who knows me knows that if I don't get sleep then the whole family is not going to be happy so yes I believe in crying it out and we did it. Crying it out sister. No, I believe in it, but I can't. Oh, I should it. say that oops, I should say that Danielle is mommy to two little boys and I'll try and remember and put a picture of them right here so that you guys can see how cute they are. Alright, so crying in it, Danielle. Did you do it? No. You I tried. You don't believe in it? No, I thought that I don't believe She just can't do it. You just couldn't do it because it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. I remember Sam and I literally sitting on our bed while our baby cried with his poor little heart out in their own room and I was just sitting there like this. Nobody talking and Sam saying, I'm getting her. I'm just getting her. And then, yeah, what we did it. It only lasted for about three days and then it was over and we survived it. All right, next one. Spanking. It's a hot one. Do you believe in spanking? What's the definition of spanking? I don't know. I guess it means do you believe in hitting your kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> so for me, my personal belief is there is we have a no abuse policy in our house, just like in school. We are a non-hitting family under any circumstances. I don't want my kids to hit each other, and so we don't hit our kids. Okay. You agree? She agrees. All right. Co-sleeping. <laughs> I co-sleep. <laughs> I co-sleep too. Like, I mean, who can live without co-sleeping? Yeah, I co-sleep all the way. Yeah, like basically if my kids still couldn't sleep and they need to sleep in my bed at 10, then they'd be sleeping in my bed because like I said, I need to sleep. Right? Yeah. Cannot yeah. sleep without co-sleeping. Yeah. Um, homeschool versus public school versus private school. So all of my kids, I have five of them, um, all went to public school and I loved it. The girls especially had an awesome experience in public school until this year where I yanked them out and I started homeschooling them and I realized that I was brainwashed by the school system to think things were a certain way and they always had to be that way and now I've never, oops, now I would never ever go back. So we are a homeschooling family. I'm not there yet. She's not there yet. Her kids are just about three and six months. So she's coming up to that though. Yeah. So are you going to put them in school or are you? I'm putting them in school. So public school. Yeah. So the next one is medicating children. And I'm not sure if it means like, hey, do you want to give your kids some Tylenol if they have a fever? Or if it means like if they have ADHD and that kind of stuff. A lot of people are really anti-vaccine and anti-medication. Uh, I think I would. Or not vaccinate, sorry, medicate. You wouldn't like, so if they said, hey, your kid has. Um, I think I'd try not to. Yeah, I would do everything. Yeah. I, I would be like, wow, really? Because your school system is so messed up that you think my kid is hyper? It's not natural for a five year old child to sit at a desk for eight hours a day? You know, I, I'm against it. I, I don't even give my kids Tylenol. I don't give my kids any, any kind of medication because I'm hypersensitive and the medication for me is always worse than the, the thing that's wrong with me. So we don't even take any medication. All right, cloth diaper versus disposable diapers. You got the baby, so you can go that, you can do that one first. Disposable. Disposable. Oh, Ain't my. nobody got time for that. I I agree with cloth diapering. I respect all those mamas who can do it. Yeah. 
I don't know how anybody can do it, especially if they have more than one child, but yeah, that laundry, the amount of laundry that you have to do, I don't know, I just don't think that would work for me. Uh, Store-bought baby food. Store-bought baby food versus homemade baby food. This is the last question. Store-bought, you got the baby. I've done both. Yeah, I agree. I do both too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like if you're home and it's yeah. summer time, you feed your baby what you're eating, you yeah. make it all and it's all there. But if you're like out shopping and your baby is hungry, then you've got whatever's in the yeah. jar in your bag. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so that's it. So thanks for being on my channel and doing this video with me. It was awesome. If you guys want to see more videos with Danielle, give it a thumbs up and maybe I can get her to come back. Wasn't that bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? We'll work on it. We'll work on it. All right, thanks, guys. See you later.